Hey, what's up everybody? This is Etho, and welcome back. We are on the Arconaut server again. We are looking for... Who did I upset? Nobody important. It's all good. <laughs> uh, we are looking for an Alpha Carno. I saw two of them on the server. Pretty close to our base here. And I want to try to take this guy out. If we can find him. He was like right around here. Uh, seems to have left the area, maybe. They're really easy to spot, because they got the, the red trail. Oh, he's, he's up ahead there. Yeah, I see him. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. They nerfed all the dinosaurs lately, and I don't know what that means exactly. Like, my melee damage used to be at, like, a 1,000 with this guy. Now it's down to 376. So we will see... How Raffle Stomper performs here. He is pretty quick. We might be able to run away if things go bad, but we will see. Alright, here we go. I have no idea what level this guy is either. Wait, that's a... Is that an Alpha Rex? Or is there just... No. <laughs> it was a regular Rex. Okay, this is the alpha over here, though. How's our damage? Oh, we're taking a little bit of damage. How's this guy doing? We gotta take him out quickly. We've lost about a quarter. He looks pretty messed up. Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Alright, this scorpion is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Uh, today, guys, uh, we're going to go check out the Canadian cookhouse. I got the building done. We're going to try to do some cooking over there. And then later, I think we'll do uh, maybe some some taming. Mastercraft crossbow. Oh, baby. That is a really good one, too. A very high durability and damage on it. Oh, that's awesome. Like, sometimes I think Mastercraft stuff is only around 200 durability. That's close to 300. Oh. Yeah, we got everything. Good, good. Okay, I'm going to go look for that other alpha. He was on the other mountain by us here. How many levels did we get from that? Let's boost this guy's health a bit. What happens if we do melee damage? It used to go up by like 50 points every time. <laughs> it went up by like... Oh, that was sad. That was like 6 points. Oh, 6%? That was that was pretty pathetic. Okay, if I remember right, this is the mountain I saw the alpha on. So we'll take out the second guy if we can. Oh, I'm regretting going up here now. <laughs> no! You can do it! Uh, T-Rexes do not, not like falling, if you guys don't know. They take a lot of damage. He almost made it. See, T-Rexes, they're just 2x2, two two, you know, they only got two legs. They're not 4x4. Four four. They can't quite do the hills. Alright, let's be very careful here. If you fall just a little bit, you lose like a thousand health. And it is so hard to recover that. This looks a lot steeper going down than it did coming up. Okay, let's go very slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. We can get around on the right here, I'm pretty sure. The proper way. Yeah, there's my my little mining base. Just a little... A bunch of forges. Nothing too fancy. And there is the alpha. Okay. Okay, this guy might be a little bit tougher. I'm going to heal my uh, T-Rex up to full here, if I can. Before we do the fight. Oh, he's only 64. I thought he was a 90 for some reason. Okay, we should be able to take him. Should be able to handle this guy. Alright, here we go. Look at all the metal on this mountain, though. This is like the best mountain for metal. Oh no, he's getting inside us. Back off. I'm way too friendly with us right now. I don't know if I'm attacking him even. I'm like biting his tail. <laughs> Trying to back up. Okay, I backed up a bit more. He's got to be nearly dead, right? 
I don't know if it's because of the patch, but this T-Rex seems to have a lot more stamina than I remember. Like, he is, it's like, not even close to getting tired here. I'm getting a little worried. This guy is not dying. <laughs> yes! Okay, we got him. We got him. Oh, and I accidentally ate him. No! I don't think he gave us our, his items, if he had any. We got a, a helmet. Maybe that's all he had on him. They usually have more stuff, though. Darn it. Yeah, I accidentally chomped one too many times there. We lost the items. But we got the XP, so it's not too bad. Go for some more health, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so check it out, guys. This is the Canadian Cookhouse over here at New Canada. So I got the roof on this place. It's uh, pretty much all done. I just had one little issue to work out yet on it. Uh, but we're going to go inside. We're going to do some cooking here. Going to finally try out the cooker. That is the main reason we built this. <laughs> I got the T-Rex the trophy and moved up higher there. And I did do the second floor, like we talked about. Let's check it out. You go up the ladder here, and this is like my little uh, personal area. I lead, I lead a very simple life, as you can tell. Um, I just got my bed with the generator on top. <laughs> and I did a, a little balcony out here so we could we look out at the water. Look out at the rest of New Canada. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get to it here. So I brought over a couple things we might need here. I got some outlets. I just put down this generator. There was supposed to be a cable here, but now it is not finding it. Guess we'll put it there. That works, right? Yeah, okay. Um, let's put our fuel in here. So this will allow us to run the fridges, which is pretty important when you're trying to preserve the food. I brought over 50 fuel. I know I did. Sky King, did you take it from me? Oh no, I know what I did. I put it in the fabricator. <laughs> Never mind, it is it is not here after all. Uh, I know there's some fuel left in here though. Uh, I brought over the recipes for the different cooking things. You know, there's one recipe I just can't get. There's like a special night vision um, type of food. It lets you see at night or something. I've never tried it out. I saw I got the recipe once in this game a long time ago, and I just kind of threw it away because, you know, you, you get recipes all the time. I didn't think much of it, but it's actually extremely rare. I've only seen it that one time. What am I doing? I'm running all over the place. Yeah, let's go up to the generator. Climb up. What just happened? I don't know. Climb up. Climb up the ladder. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll fuel this. I did put down some lights here in case... Uh, don't feel like getting wood for the torches. I think the torches look a lot better, though. But we have the option to turn these on and off if we want. Got some out on the balcony. Maybe we'll turn these ones on. Leave them on. But yeah, this is the main problem we currently have with our building here. <laughs> There's two pieces of wall missing. I went to go place these. And it's red. I can place it if it's facing the wrong way, but I don't really want that. So I'm going to have to like bulldoze these fridges and the grill to actually place this last piece, I think. Although, wait a minute. This looks like it's correct now. No, nope, wrong way. <laughs> uh, I guess temporarily I can have them facing the wrong way. But, uh, yeah. Kind of annoying. Okay, let's try out the, the cooker here. So it holds a thousand water, and the tanks outside have, I think, 400 in. I don't know if that's going to really last this long. But we'll see what we can do here. Maybe we'll do something simple. We can do some medical brew here. That's a pretty simple recipe. So it requires narcotics and just tinto berries. Water. Yeah. It's just two things. So if we load it up with these these tinto berries, it should be able to create a bunch. Hopefully pretty quickly. The recipes in this game are super useful actually, like especially the Enduro stew and this medical brew stuff. They're incredible. But people generally don't make it because uh 
it's really annoying to cook stuff. <laughs> like, you have to babysit it normally, but with this uh, new cooker thing, I think this is going to be very convenient. Oh man, it brews it super fast. Like, each one of these used to take half a minute to a minute, I believe. This is just cruising through them. Out of water. <laughs> no, so I gotta hook this up to the lake. Uh, the tanks aren't gonna do the trick. Let's go check outside here. It's almost like it didn't get filled up at all, though. Yeah, these still are full of water. That's weird. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll run a, a pipe down to the water here, I guess. Okay, so we got the water hooked up. Now, let's give it another try. Make sure it keeps running. 900. 800. And refilled. <laughs> awesome. So it'll keep going forever then. As long as it has ingredients. Ah, oh, that's, that's so convenient. Alright, and then we got the grill set up right here as well. Pretty cool. A lot of the recipes they required cooked meat, um, so that's why I wanted to grill here. So let me just turn this on. Cool. And then we got the fridges here to preserve everything. Um, now we just need the customers. Where are all the customers? I don't know. Like we have such a beautiful restaurant. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, next up here, guys, we're going to go do, do some taming. There's, like, kangaroos, there's dung beetles, there's... I think there's bears? And a few other things. I saw a level, like, 92 Quetzal flying around, too. So there's a there's a couple options. Uh, maybe we'll go try find a kangaroo to begin with. Level 16, huh? I'll take it. I'm desperate. Can we pick him up? Yeah, we can pick him up. Cool. I have flown around this map many times, guys. These kangaroos are extremely rare. There's a cave there. Maybe we will... I think the the dung beetles, they only spawn in caves. Maybe we'll go check that out uh, after we tame this guy here. But yeah, I actually spent like two hours with Vintage Beef and, and Proxy when these guys came out. Flying around the server looking for them and we never found a single one. Um... I found one here today, finally. <laughs> they are they're not easy to come by. Oh yeah, and check this out. This is crazy. There's like one, two, three, four T Rexes grouped up here. And I think there was one more down the beach at least. Yeah, one more up there. <laughs> They've just been like wrecking havoc here. Nothing can kill them. And uh coming up soon, we're gonna do some maze events. Uh, Proxy's been building this maze, and uh, we're going to try to do an event where, I don't know if she's like going to try to kill us while we go through it, but something fun probably. Should be cool. Oh, dude, check it out. Got another one here. They must spawn on the mountains then. Alright, what level are you? You might be preferred. It is a 32. Okay. Okay, these guys are pretty hard to tame, actually. They take off so fast. Watch this. Look at this. Like, he's gone. <laughs> he knows. He knows to run. You gotta, like, trap him against the wall or something. And he's down. Haha. -ha. Okay. We're safe here. There's no dilos. Yeah, we're good. So, you can feed them. Rare mushrooms, apparently, is the preferred thing. Thankfully, I got a lot of those. Or the plant X seeds is like second choice, but not they're not nearly as good. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't take too much. What are the stats on this guy? 500 health, 400 stamina. Uh, wow, they have a lot of weight, actually. They carry a lot of stuff. Low damage. They're herbivores, though, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So you don't really use them for fighting. Every 75 food, they eat a mushroom. Oh, it's going to take a while. <laughs> no! Oh. Is that enough? It's enough. Okay. Awesome. Kind of looks like a fox, actually. 
like the the face, not really the the paws or anything like that. All right, our list is so empty here since the hard drive crashed. It's kind of sad. Okay, I guess we'll call him Joey. It's Joey, because I'm not creative today. <laughs> All right. So, there is a saddle you got to make. I was just looking at it. It takes 70 metal, 150 pelts, uh, 500 hide, and I think 200 fiber. So, it's a little bit on the expensive side, actually. I'm going to have to go get some pelt from the, the snow biome. Oh, yeah. All right. So, we got it. Let's go try it out. These kangaroos are supposed to be really fast. And like crazy, crazy high jumpers too. Be a lot of fun to ride. Kind of like the frogs, I guess. Um, but we'll see. The frogs are really cool in this game. Alright. Put the saddle on him. Oh yeah, and let's change his name too. <laughs> Instead of Joey, we'll call him Just Joey. There's a restaurant called Just Joey. Alright. He's <laughs> so big. It's actually a lot bigger than I realized. This guy's huge. Like, he's compar comparably to this guy. He's even taller. Alright, let's go super speed mode. Yeah, not not bad speed. Let's do a jump. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he just... Yeah, he's like the frogs. He just kind of coasts for miles. That's awesome. Now I wonder, since this is a male, I, if the, the pouch works or not, because there's apparently a pouch you can hop in too, so two people can ride it at the same time. Board pouch. Oh yeah, the males the males have it too. Pretty cool. I'm in the pouch right now. <laughs> Can't really see it. What What's the selfie mode? Nope, nope. Nope. Ah, oh, it won't let me look. All right, pretty cool though. I wonder how much movement speed goes up every time you level them. Can it harvest anything? No, it won't go after the bushes. Okay. Try it on on a parasaur here. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty weak. They're made for getting around, I think, not really for fighting. Watch it be a level four. 32, yeah. Not the the most effective fighters. You should be able to like put boxing gloves on these guys, you know, and really do some work. Okay, so next up here, guys, we're gonna try find some dung beetles if we can. So they only spawn in caves. We're gonna try the fire cave first, because if they if they are in here, this will probably be the easiest one to uh, to get them out of, I would think. And, and we've been in here, so I kind of know the way around. I'm scared to go in any other caves. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll go check it out. Oh, I, I better use my torch here. Big lag spike. All right, we're good. That actually loaded a lot faster than it did in the past. All right. Yeah, dung beetles, they can apparently automatically uh, pick up poop. And they convert it into fertilizer and oil. And fertilizer is really, like, tedious to make normally. So they're going to be, like, a must-have creature in this game. There's nowhere to get stuck here, right? Oh, there's water. Okay, that is a scorpion. Got some bats. Oh, and spiders. How's our health? Oh, we're taking a little bit of damage. You can tame the spiders now too, actually, that, uh, now that I think of it. Oh man. <laughs> this is a little scary. I, I'm not comfortable in the caves in this game. 218 chitin! That's insane. Any dung beetles around? It's not looking good so far. 
I have been just left clicking this whole time. <laughs> There's so many guys down here. I think we're safe to go here still. So there are some scorpions down there. Let's just run. Let's run through. <laughs> I just want to see if there's dung beetles. Again, there's water. Apparently, they're found by water. But no, this doesn't look like a... Oh, don't push me into the lava. This does not look like a dung beetle cave. So we're going to get out of here. Okay, if I remember right, there is a cave over here somewhere. Is this it? Yeah, this is it here. We'll go check this out. Uh, can I fit you in here, Whiskers? I'm not sure. You might be on the fat side. Darn it. <laughs> oh, I really don't want to go in on foot. Really don't want to go in on foot. Okay, I guess what we'll do... Make a sleeping bag in case something bad happens. Pop it down. Okay. So yeah, we're just looking for dung beetles. Oh. Oh, Doc was here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I guess they got all the artifacts. That makes sense. They've been to all the caves. We'll try to sprint through here. Is this the maze one? I've seen in like other people's videos a lot of these caves, and I kind of mix them all together though. <laughs> this is the maze. I don't like mazes. <laughs> Alright, if we see a bunch of bats, we, we have to get out of here because I can't take them on in person. Uh, so far, it's, there's like nothing though. Okay, we'll run in a little bit. Yeah, there might be some stuff over here. Nope. This is a very peaceful cave. I like it. Nice, uh, nice and open too. There's water in this one. Okay, that's a good sign. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I didn't even see those guys. Came out of nowhere. Uh, let's do this. We'll try to run around a bit. And just look for dung beetles. If we, like, try to fight everything... Yeah, that's one! Oh man, there's one right here. He's not, like, attacking us, so... Is this, uh... Oh, it's like a chest. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, how do we get this dung beetle? <laughs> I wonder if we can kill these guys. Maybe I should just use my gun. It won't kill him, but it'll trank him. I'm gonna try hack and slice. I'll just have to keep an eye on my health. And my torpor. Actually, torpor is probably the biggest concern here. <laughs> now that I think of it. I have really good armor on. Oh, I got sent back in time. And I'm out. Okay, good news. I did not die there. <laughs> I ran out of the cave when I saw my torpor going up. Uh, went and I made some arrows as well, so we can hopefully take these guys out safely. Hopefully it's not too dark. Using our new Mastercraft bow. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Why are they stuck against the wall there, I wonder? Like, they're not even trying to get me. <laughs> oh, hey, I, not that I want you to. Okay, now they are trying to get me. Even these guys will cause torpor, so you gotta really watch it. They can knock you out, and if you get knocked out, it's GG. Because they will just have their way with you. And you will never wake up. Is that all of them? Yeah, okay. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to get rid of all these guys that are going to distract us. So that we can focus on getting this dung beetle out. There was a scorpion too. Yeah, over there. It's a little bit on the dark side. Sorry for that. These guys also are just facing the wall. <laughs> Makes it kind of easy to kill them at least. Doesn't seem to be any bats in this cave. Or at least not here. 
Which is good. Those guys are the worst. And one more spider. Seems to be two shots to kill him. Oh, maybe three. Oh, oh, this guy's a little tougher. Okay, we got him. Now, I believe that was everybody, so let's go check out this dung beetle. Everybody's chasing us. Yeah, we're good. So what I want to happen here, I want to try to get this guy to chase us outside the cave. Yeah, he's after us. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, he's so cute, man. They're slow, too. It's like a little pet. Come on. <laughs> You're supposed to, to tame them. You gotta wear the bug repellent. I, I brought a few with me. But you also gotta feed them poop. And I'm wondering, how do we do that if we're in a cave, you know? Like, we need an infinite source of poop to feed this guy. Hey. Put taming food in last item slot to feed. So you don't knock them out. You gotta feed them uh, directly. Hey. <laughs> Oh man, he's terrifying. This is the moment of truth now. Are we going to be able to get him out of here? Can you fit? Can you fit? Can you come outside? Oh, he's going to make it. Yes. <laughs> okay, now can we pick him up? Whiskers, you might have to spend the night here. Yeah, we got him. Awesome. Very cool. So you can get these guys out of the cave. I'm going to bring him back to our base where there's plenty of poop. Now, hopefully I don't mess this up. I'm going to put this guy down. Nobody's trying to kill him. That's good. That's a good sign. Uh, we're going to need some poop. Thank you, Sky King. <laughs> the bigger, the better. Uh, apparently, the bigger you have it, the, the quicker it tames. Can you keep this stuff on you? I, c I couldn't remember. Spoils in two hours. Okay, so that's you could just bring a bunch with you, too, instead of bringing the, the beetle outside. It's probably the easier way of doing it, actually. Okay, and we're going to have to take some bug repellent. This lasts for ten minutes. Oh, this stuff spoils, too. I didn't realize that. Whew. <laughs> I've never used this before. I'm, like, covered in uh, smog now. It's wonderful. So that should make it so he doesn't get mad at us. And get our poop. Okay, put in our last slot. No, he still got mad. Everybody peaceful. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it, guys. Don't don't kill him. Oh man, I thought the bug repellent was supposed to stop that. We'll wait for him to, to calm down. And we'll just try to feed him quickly and run away. Kind of the same thing with the gorillas. Like, if you stand next to them, they get mad eventually. So you just gotta feed them quickly and get out. I'm just gonna run up. Whoa! Instant team. <laughs> what? I guess he was a pretty low level. And we do have, uh, fast taming speeds. That was a little strange. I'm gonna call him Flesh. Gender N-A. They don't have a gender. That's odd. Okay. Set him to neutral. So now if we turn him on wandering and give him some poop, apparently he can he can make fertilizer and oil from that. Anybody got some laying around? Thank you, Raffle Stomper, for your donation. I'm guessing it's going to take a little while for it to happen, though. Let's see. Give him that. Okay. And they also... Oh, he doesn't have much weight. Only five. Oh. Okay, so you can't really give him too much then. So I just checked the wiki page on these guys, and it says it takes them 15 minutes to do the conversion. And a small poop will get you one fertilizer... 2 oil, medium is 2 fertilizer, 4 oil, large is 3 fertilizer, 6 oil, and apparently you can do like a small, medium, large all at the same time. Um, I wonder if you could handle a medium as well. That was 4.3 weight. Weight is the big limiter on this guy. Oh, just in time. Perfect timing. <laughs> uh, so he's going to convert this pretty soon. 
we want to fill them up. So that means you can get six fertilizer, twelve oil, maximum every fifteen minutes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this weighs too much. He won't. He won't take it. I gotta bu bump up his weight or find a new one of these guys that that's a little bit higher level. And there it is. So we got six oil, three fertilizer out of him. That is really cool. He didn't do the small one with the large one though. I think because I added it later. Um, he must he must figure out when you put it in him, and then uh, depending on the timing, it's got to be 15 minutes after that. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.